Okay, so as we discussed before, if I'm getting started and I want to do this hobby, um, exactly what kind of paint should I get? So I said before, you should get a pack of uh, P3, and uh, that will do well. Um, again, I think one of the issues you'll run into that if you want to do something else besides a privateer press model, you may not have the colors that you need to actually do what you intend to do. So that said, what you intend to paint actually does kind of dictate what kind of colors you want to get to start off with. But if you don't know and you just want to pick up anything, here in front of you we have some color. They're from different ranges and I will bring in different ranges because the way that I did mine is I looked for the color that was available and just kind of got it. Um, as I saw it, again, I did buy a bunch of Citadel colors uh, from Games Workshop at the very beginning because that's how I thought I can get. But I did get them from online and I won them off of eBay, you know, in sets of 10 and 15 and stuff like that to help build up my colors. So, what color should I get if I don't know what I'm going to paint? Well, you're going to need a black and a white. You're going to need a yellow, blue, red, and green. And then two shades of brown. A light brown. This happens to be flat earth. And then a dark brown. Again, this is model air because I really didn't have any uh, dark brown and eyedropper to show you. Um, this is a burnt umber. If you're going to get lights and darks, remember, always get the extremes. Okay? Get a very light and a very dark. The reason is because this right here is a mid-ranged, uh, it's pretty vibrant, but kind of a mid-ranged um, red. If you want to make this lighter, you cannot. Because what does white and red make? It makes pink. What does yellow and red make? It makes orange. So if you want a lighter color red, you have to actually buy a lighter color red. So this is the basic set that you need. Now, if you're doing something and you know you're going to be doing something in armor, like this guy right here, okay? You need to pull in a um, metallic color of some sort, okay? Get a mid-range metallic color because unlike the other ones, you can modify this one right here with white and black. A little bit of white to this makes it a lighter silver. A little bit of black to it makes it a darker kind of gun color, all right? Uh, again, purple can be made from, hey, red and blue. I'm sure we all knew that one. Uh, Yellows, obviously just with the yellow, and then you have your two shades of brown. You do need two shades of brown, again, because you're going to need the base, and then you need the highlight colors. All right? Um, so that is the basic starting kit that you really need here, okay? So we're talking um, nine paints, if I count that right, right? Nine paints as your basic set. Uh, again, about $3 a pot for these suckers right here. You can see I got this one from Hobby Lobby for 3 bucks. okay? So you're talking about $30 with tax to get this range of paint. Once you start expanding, you're going to want to expand in color sets. What I mean by that, so if you kind of line these up, you have a dark brown, you're going to start doing this number. Here's a dark red. This happens to be uh, from Citadel. I, I know I talked bad about them. This is an awesome color right here, this corn red. Really, really nice color. Very, nobody else duplicates this. So now I have a medium red, a dark red, and here's an orange. Again from Citadel, it's Troll Slayer orange, very, very bright. So now I kind of have what I build is called a triad. Now one type of paint that I didn't cover here was a paint called Reaper Paints. Not a big fan of Reaper Paints, but they actually sell them in triads like this. They sell a dark, a medium, and a highlight color for any color out there. You can do the same by getting whatever's available off of eBay. Again, you can get these for pretty cheap. I bought a set, of, believe it or not, of 15 Citadel paints off of eBay for $12. That's less than a dollar a pop. And that's kind of why I don't mind having them around so much because I only paid a dollar a pop, even if the lids do do that. And I can never get them to get closed. Um, so, yeah, buy your paints kind of in schemes like that. Again, you can add on a light green, a dark blue, and a light blue. You can start adding on different types of whites, believe it or not. Here's an ivory or an off-white. Okay, This is actually quite uh, quite useful. There really are no off-blacks, but are very, very dark blues. And this is how I kind of add into it. Now for the uh, range here, oh, again, you could add in a darker yellow. They actually do have darker yellows. 
Uh, brown is also a very nice base coat for yellow. And then you can start expanding your color line for the metallics. Here's a brass. Here's a gold. Here's Balthazar gold, like a bronze color. Absolutely fantastic. Um, here's a, uh, a gold from Vallejo. And then if you really want to get into the good stuff, I'll go over this later. Here's Vallejo's liquid gold series. This, this stuff is incredible right here, but that's kind of another another show. So you can see real quick what I have in front of you. If I back all these guys up so the camera can kind of see the family, so to speak. Now I have in front of you probably about a good 15 paints. And these are still, believe it or not, I would consider a basic set of paints. Now we're talking at three bucks a pop, about $45 instead of your uh, 30 bucks. But again, if you're smart off of eBay, you can get these things for pretty cheap. And before you know it, you will have something like that. Lots and lots of paints. I think I have about 103 paints. And again, that's not even a big range when compared to some people. Um, it definitely gets the job done, though. I'm never wanting for paints about that level. I don't think I really need to get too many more paints, per se, because I can't think of anything that I can't either make or have on hand. Now, although they're not exactly paints, there are some other things you may want to consider getting. Um, and again, I know I speak bad about these guys, but they actually do make something that's really good here. And these are called washes. I've actually done a video on washes already. And I even said this, if you're going to get three washes, any, you know, just start off with three washes, get these three. Agrax Earth Shade from Citadel, Nolan Oil, and Seraphim Sepia, if I'm saying all these right. Light brown that shades things, dark brown that is good for bringing out uh, colors in a lighter type of model. So if you want to shade something that's a lighter model and bring out the, uh, the details in lighter models, use this. And then Nolan Oil uh, for darker um, applications or darker models or models that have a darker color on it that you want to bring out because this is a brown not going to bring out so much uh, details as it will black but it also because these things are um, washes they do stain your model um, and leave water spots and you don't want like big black blotchy water spots on top of yellow and they also go by other names there was a they renamed all the Citadel line not too long ago, so I believe this is used to be Griffin Sepia. No, um, Bad Owl Black was the black one, and then Devlin Mud was the, the dark brown. Now, if you so choose, and you can find it, and again, guess where I got these off of? That's right. We can be taught. Colored washes, sometimes called shades, and these are Game color washes by Vallejo, and colored washes actually do have quite a nice application. Um, and I won't go over any of them here, but uh, all the all the different shades and washes are the same price. Again, same thing about three bucks a pot. Um, I got a set of these right here. I think I bought them from the UK, a uh, set of eight, if I'm not mistaken. I believe I got those for uh, about twelve dollars there or thereabouts. So again, eBay can save you money if you're patient. You gotta be patient though and you really gotta if you know you want something. So I saw these online on eBay. The first thing I did is I went to Vallejo's site and I checked how much are these things retail. And then I had to make a decision in my own mind how much what percentage of that retail price am I willing to pay off of eBay? Sixty percent, seventy five percent, whatever you commit to, commit to that and go no higher. So if I say I'm only pay five bucks for these and go ahead and put a bid down for five bucks. And if you get outbid, let it go. Just let it go. There's more. Don't worry. You'll find more. Uh, the last thing that comes in these droppers is kind of the paint, but not really is going to be your varnishes. Uh, and you will want to get some varnishes. Okay. So this one right here has to be a satin varnish. Uh, you can paint these on. Uh, you don't need to buy the spray cans of, uh, of, of varnish. Um, Go ahead and get 100% yeah, acrylic, resin varnish. Okay, that's what you want. Again, this one's by Vallejo. Um, comes an eyedropper, and I do like the eyedroppers. 
And one other thing that I did not mention, I don't have it right here in front of me, but you also want to get a flat black spray paint, uh, acrylic spray paint if you could find it, but definitely something that's flat black because you have to um, primer your models. They come, uh, they don't come black like this, and they come in uh, just plastic, and uh, the paint doesn't stick very well to that plastic. So paint does stick to the paint. You want a good paint that can stick over this plastic, has a very thin, even coat, and that means spray paint of some sort. Um, I'm not going to tell you what exactly brand to get or anything like that, but again, flat black acrylic if you could find it. And as I said, this is the paint range, and eventually, you may, and I'm blocking some of it too with my little focus. You can see, that's, yes, that is some in the back. Um, I haven't tried these yet, but I'm going to today. The Minotaur's line of uh, airbrush ready, because I do use airbrush. Um, color, this is very thin down, like a wash. It's a lot like a wash, um, but it comes in much bigger amounts. And there you have it. Those are going to be all the paints uh, that you kind of need here and the different types. Again, you have your varnishes, you have your, your shades. Um, or washes, then you have your basic paint. So, yeah, hey there, hack, what should I not get? Well, what you shouldn't get is something like this. This right here is what they call textures. Uh, I don't recommend them at all. I got this as part of a set that I bought on online. It came with the set that I bought. It was very cheap um, to get the set, so I kind of kept this. All it is is it really is just paint mixed with uh, an aggregate of some sort. In this case, it happens to be sand. <sighs> you can make this yourself really, really easily. So if you see a set of this, my recommendation is don't let it go. Um, the other things you need to be uh, just advised of um, are things like this. So this is a Quick Shade by Army Painter. And here's just a bottle of ink, okay? While these have their applications, and you can use them, this is acrylic artist ink, okay? They have their applications. You'll learn what those applications are as you get better at, at doing this. Again, all this stuff in front of you is not meant for beginner. Again, your beginning set was just nine paints. This is as you grow. This is kind of how you should grow. Um, in fact, after you have your basic set, my recommendation, the first thing you should get would be a wash, probably a black wash, okay? Um, but this right here is, is uh, not exactly the quick shade stuff. Um, it is more like uh, like wood varnish, I guess you could say. And it's not not always acrylic, okay? Um, so be careful. Acrylic's nice because it's non toxic and melts with water and all that kind of stuff. So, um, and again, inks, so you're looking for a wash, don't get inks. You put this stuff on your model, you can turn your model red, okay? You have to cut this with water. And there is an application for this, but again, that's for another time. All right, so there's your uh, look on to the different colors um, and, and paints that you need when you're starting out. So we're going to come back and I'm going to go into all the other little things that you may need to get that's going to help you um, with this hobby.